What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off, we had been working on the force field around the reactor. I do think we're going to take a break from that temporarily while I kind of grind up some more resources. We had discussed last time how many resources this was going to require. Um, and how, how many I don't have. Um... So, because of that, uh, one of the things I've been wanting to do for a while... Ship fuel critical. It's not critical. Stop telling me that. Um, one of the things I wanted to do for a while is to make a kind of... Um, I don't know. Some kind of like better... Better ship for taking on other ships, basically. Um, that... I really wanted to do that for a while, that, like, when you get these cargo, like, the business shipment down in the bottom left of my screen right now. Right there. Um, they've got them now to where they're armed, and when you try and attack them, it just does not end well normally. So, I wanted to get a better ship. Now, there's two factors here that I want to work with. A, um... The micro ships are kind of cool, but I don't know if I'm going to use that for an actual interceptor. I drove it over here because I was thinking about taking the drill and the gr or the welder and the grinder off and making this a um, combat ready type bike thing. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of other mods that we haven't used yet, like the as as oh, I can't ever say this right. Hang on, I haven't opened my inventory screen. Uh, Azimuth? I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. By the way, for those of you that use this pack, um, they just released a main mod pack instead of the individual reactors, um, thrusters, cargo, weapons, etc. They actually released a Azimuth pack. So this is all one thing. VB engine turbo. What is this? Fusion reactor... Same components, but less. But that's a fusion reactor. Oh, battery! So there's an azimuth battery, drill... Oh, these are all available for small ships. Actually, it only looks like small ships. Oh! Hold the phone. Slant invisible. I don't know what that means. Uh, big thruster... Large container, medium container, slant edge, thruster... Oh, there's large thrusters. So what are these down here that are only... Oh, fusion reactor and then reactor. Oh! Okay. I'm probably going to go with the battery. Um, Tiny drill, small ore detector... Small antenna, antenna large. Now this is funny. Small antenna, but the antenna large is still only for small ships. That's kind of weird. Gatling guns are only in azimuth launcher conveyor. Hmm. But all of these are for small ships. I don't see any weapons for large ships. That's rather odd. Um, tell you what, let's grab. Let's get rid of this stuff. We'll even get rid of this temporarily. Uh, let's grab launchers, Gatling guns, shield slant, invisible. I don't want invisible, I want to look at it. Um, okay, so we are going to need some blocks and heal. Alright. Let me, let me work this out. I'm going to pause it for a second. I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, so I've got my hot bar set up now. Uh, we've got heavy armor blocks and a battery gyroscope cockpit. Then we've got all of our weapons. I think I'm going to need this launcher conveyor. I'm not sure. Uh, thruster set up. And then the slant blocks that I'm not really sure what they're for. Cargo, engine, and reactor. These two I might use to get it over to the solar panels so that it can charge. Um, oh, that's the other thing that I need is connectors. Uh, 
I don't remember if there's a large or a small. I think that's both for the default one. And what else? I know I need something else. I just thought of it before I started recording. Um, landing gear, that wasn't it. Actually, for the landing gear, I may use uh, these down in here if it'll let me. And use the... where did they go? There, there. I might use those. Um, there was something else that I wanted to grab, though, and I can't remember what it was. I've got the cargo. Got the thrusters. Got the weapons. Oh, that's what it was. Uh, blast door stuff. Although, this is steel plating. Where were... These are the force field ones, I think. T section, L section, pillar. I think these were the... Ooh. Ooh. One of the mods added some new stuff. Um, I think those were the force field. Because since they're basically blast doors, we might make it look a little cooler. Okay, so... New small ship. I am going to use a, a small ship. Um, just because I think I feel like it'll be easier. I'm going to build it like over here, maybe. I want to keep it close to um, this ship so that I can access all of my stuff. Alright. Now, let's let's just start building here. And we'll go... Um, I did get from a couple people some different designs for possibly an interceptor. I was planning on making a hover bike one, but since I'm actually making another ship, I may use some of these other said designs. Um, oh, and I just thought of if the SNCN mod will allow me to work on this same ship, this has turrets, does it not? Machine gun, pulse cannon, gun turret. Ooh. I wonder if these will work the same way as the other turrets. That would be awesome. Okay. And, oh, wow. That's an engine. I'm trying to test and see what some of this looks like. That's the large... Er, wait, that's a small con small container? Oh, it's large if it's on a big ship. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, and... ooh. Oh, that's shielding. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Yet another shielding. Oh, invisible. Oh, that could prove interesting. Okay, that is a very big thruster. Um, now these... I'm not positive... Rest are small. So these are... Okay, these are two block, the slope ones. These are large... Wow! That is a large thruster. That we might not even use on this ship. I don't know. That's, that thing is huge. These aren't bad, though. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, ooh, these weapons look epic. Okay. Um, design. Now, primarily, this ship is going to be used... Ooh, that's a cool battery. Um, this ship is going to be used for interception of other ships, right? Um... Ooh, I can stack them. Oh, that's cool. Like, the, I love this azimuth mod. It's got some really neat stuff. I don't know if I want to put that there yet or not. Um, so primarily it's going to be used for... Uh, stuffs. Mm -hmm. Stuffs. For interception, essentially. Okay, uh, that's the panel. Can we, like... I don't know how... Three batteries should be more than enough, I would think. Now, what does the connector do 
if I put it... Oops. Here. Okay, it's a two block. Um, so I'm not sure how I want to do that just yet. Oh, maybe. I need some large steel tubes, actually. Um, I think that's the main uh, starting component for thrusters, I believe. I could be wrong. Yeah, it looks like it is. Oh, this could end up looking really cool. If we did just some thrusters here. That's cool, it doesn't really mess up the shape. I love this mod. These mods are awesome. Um, Alright. This would be... No, that's not going to work. Um, could put gyros in the center here. Uh, or... Let's just put some steel there. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Um, tell you what, I'm going to pause it again real quick and see if I can come up with a design, whether or not we finish it today or not. We'll have to see, but I'll work on it a bit and see what we come up with. Okay, so this is on a creative world, a uh, copy of the main world, survival world. Um, I wanted to play around with some design stuff and see what we could come up with. Um, so here's what I've got so far. And I'm kind of dubbing it the Stingray, mostly because of this back thruster, the way it looks. I really kind of like it. Um, so there's a lot of thrusters on it, which will make it a pain to build in, in survival. Um, I did also place... I've got two missile launchers and two Gatling guns in between some of these shielding plates. Um, so that's kind of the next step that I'm going to do here, is placing these shields all over um, because I definitely want the ship to be protected um, and this seems like a pretty cool way to actually set it up to where like it is protected but um, oh I had mirror mode on here let me there we go so now we got mirror mode on um, I'd like to make sure the gyros are protected and everything. Er, oh, and I moved the gyroscopes as well. I put some single thrusters up here. Uh, I don't want to interfere with the turrets, though. Tell you what, I'm going to get rid of that engine because it's mostly here for creative. I'm not going to actually have that engine there Um, in when we actually get it done. Let's put it there. Uh, we'll put another shield there. Let's see, let's also put one on the back here above that. That's fairly well shit. I actually don't like this way out here. It looks kind of funky. Let's bring it in a little bit. That looks better. <laughs> kind of looks like a camouflaged ship of some kind. Um, I kind of like that. And... Ooh! I didn't realize you could do it that way. Ain't that cozy. And I'll, I will be the first to admit, I don't know how realistic this is going to be. In, not not realistic. Um, effective, maybe, is the word I'm looking for? Like, I don't know how... <laughs> this is like a flying shield. It's awesome. Okay, and let's also put... One... Here would give us the most coverage. I don't know how the... Th thrusters are going to react to this either or if they're going to like completely destroy the thing or not and I don't know if we'll be able to land with this shield we might need to raise this by one so that it can land but that seems pretty well 
covered. And of course, I know the first thing that's going to happen is there's going to be like a shot that goes right through um, this section here and is just going to damage the cockpit like immediately. Um, actually, can I not put that there? Why not? Why can't I put that there? Whatever. It's not glowing anyway. That's That sucks. Um, ooh, what if I put it here? Will that be in the way of the Gatling guns? Oh, no way. Is that cleared? Wait a minute, what did I just do? Hold on. Ugh. Something weird happened here. No! <sighs> Wait. What happened? Oh, those were attached to the gun barrels. Got it. Okay, well, I kind of need those there, so... Let's put these back. Like so. And they're connected to the um, conveyor system. And if I put them here, it's going to overlap the wrong thing. Hmm. I want the cockpit more protected than that, but I don't really know how to do it without blocking the um, chain guns. That's been the problem. Because I could just put ones there and it would be completely protected, but then I'd be blocking the chain guns. I guess that actually works. I didn't think it would let me do that. It still has it a little vulnerable from the side, but I don't really know that there's a way... Oh, wait, no. I had these here. That was my way around that. Um... The other one I'd like to take care of is this. If I can ever get it to rotate properly. I don't know if that's really necessary or not. I don't think it will be. Actually, no, I'm going to take that out. Um, so, essentially, what I'm doing here is kind of focusing on forward kind of thing. Uh, forward shielding and upward shielding type of thing. Um, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be like overall uh, completely concealed or anything like that. I'm going to have to raise this one up to if I can. I don't know if I can or not. I'll have to get in here. The other thing I'm trying to watch out for is I don't know how the um, how the thrusters are gonna do in terms of uh, actually that's kind of redundant uh, in terms of thruster damage let's put that one there that's a little better that's better because these thrusters may in fact damage it um, actually that's now that we've got it all set up let's test it out. I'm just going to throw... Let's try the bottom. Ooh, right there. I'm just going to throw an engine right there. Again, in, in the survival world, I won't use the engines. I'll be using the solar... or the, or the batteries, but... Um, for right now... Okay. And I have about six gyroscopes on this, I think. And a lot of thrusters. Okay. Looks like everything's going okay in terms of the shielding. I don't see it actually damaging anything. I haven't lost any shields or anything. That's good. Whoop. There, I lost one. Okay. Which ones are those? I ripped one of them off. Only one of them? Wait a minute, that's weird. Which one was it? Oh, whoa! 
Something took out the whole... Cargo container. That's weird. And it didn't do it on that side. Hmm. Can I lost this shield? That makes sense. It's on the cargo container. So what just deleted the cargo container all of a sudden? Like, it's gone. I guess those components don't get damaged. These are all busted up, too. That is so weird how it did it to one side. Nope, nope, those are busted. Huh. I don't know what's damaging them. Alright. So anyways, this is kind of the design idea that I've got going on. Um... So, wait a minute, I'm missing shield thruster. So here's a question, are the shields reflecting the damage back to the thrusters is what I kind of want to know. But yeah, that's my overall idea of the ship so far. Eventually we're going to make it into the survival world. I'll probably work on that between this episode and the next episode. Um, maybe. I don't know. I think I'm going to actually record them back to back, so we'll probably do another episode and work on something else in the meantime, but that's a project that I'm working on now, is trying to get this done in survival. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!